So the most important ingredient in panzanella is bread. And you can use any kind of bread you have hanging around. You, this is ciabatta, but you can use a poulier, so you can use French bread, you can use sourdough bread. I guess you could even use like sandwich bread if you want, if you cut it into bigger like chunks for toasting. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna toast this bread in a 300 degree oven. So I'm gonna turn it on really fast because we need to preheat it. So we're gonna turn this to 300 degrees. Boo -doo -doo. Ah, so I preheated the oven ahead of time so that we can just throw these right in. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the bread. So we've got the bread already cut into these kind of like, you know, one to two inch chunks. Um, you can go smaller if you like or bigger if you like. I guess it kind of depends on how big your mouth is, right? Um, these are good sizes. If you see any that are really big, you can kind of tear them in half, but I think these look good for the most part. The one thing you wanna keep in mind is like being able to fit it in your mouth. They will shrink a little bit in the oven, uh, but they won't shrink that much. So if it looks like it's gonna be awkward to put in your mouth, then tear it in half. Alrighty, I think we're good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to prep the bread. So we're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of olive oil. You don't wanna to use too much, but you also don't want to use too little because this is what's really gonna coat the bread and make it crispy. Make sure every little bit is covered. We're going to give it a generous coating of salt. And then we're gonna go with the pepper. I don't like a lot of black pepper, so I'm not gonna use a lot. Rah, come on. Okay, now we're going to toss it all together. We're gonna kind of make sure that everything has a little bit of oil on it. If you notice that maybe there's not enough oil in here, like the bread kind of soaked it up, like go ahead and use a little bit more. Like I said, you don't wanna use a ton of oil, but you also don't wanna skimp because the oil is what's gonna help make the bread moist while it toasts. It's also gonna help make it a little bit crispy. We're gonna give this another good toss. You wanna make sure that you're using a a sheet pan that is big enough to kind of have all the bread in one layer. Because if you pile the bread up, like if the sheet pan was half the size and it was kind of like a mountain of bread, the only stuff that would toast is the stuff on the top. And in fact, the stuff in the middle would get kind of weird and soggy. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you give the bread enough room to spread out in a single layer. And if you find that your bread just won't fit in your sheet pan, then you just toast it in two different batches. Like this only takes like 15 minutes to toast. Um, so it's not that big a deal. Alrighty, we've got a single layer of bread here. We're going to put this in the oven uh, for 15 minutes and every five minutes, so three times, after five minutes, after or so twice, so once after five minutes, once after 10 minutes, and then we're pulling it out at 15. Every five minutes, you wanna kind of toss it, right? So um, it'll be hot, obviously, so don't burn yourself, but like pull it out, kind of like, you know, use your fingers or some tongs to give it a good like toss so that the bread is like getting crispy all over and not just on the side that's facing up. And that's it, alrighty. We're gonna throw this in the oven and get it started. Let's go. Ta-da, in we go. Alrighty, we're gonna let that bake for 15 minutes. I'm gonna toss it a couple times along the way and I'll see you in a few minutes. 